Hello, my name is Phil Spencer. I'm going to talk to you about reinstatement of anti-skid and HFS, high friction surfaces. The product we're going to use in today's demonstration is the Skid Grip R140, a thermoplastic system for anti-skid surfaces. This system is ideal for reinstating anti-skid and HFS after utilities works. Typical examples where these are found include bus lanes, traffic lights, roundabouts, and other approaches to junctions. Skid Grip R140 has an advanced formulation, which retains flexibility even in cooler conditions, allowing for use all year round. Furthermore, it has anti-skid aggregates impregnated into the surface, which allows the product to be used to increase skid resistance on worn surfaces such as highway armworks without any extra aggregate. The R140 has an excellent aggregate retention to maintain a good SRV for standard HFS reinstatements also. Now let's hand over to our expert demonstration team who will run through a unique application on a manhole cover showing how the R140 can provide a safe solution in these situations. When applying the skid grip R140 onto ironworks, as we have here, we must lift the cover off the chamber first. This is because we will be heating the product onto the cover and chambers such as this can potentially collect gases in it, so it is dangerous to burn on the product with the cover in place. The cover needs to be clean and free from any loose material before we start the process. Now we need to cut the sheets of R140 to shape which can be done easily by placing the sheet on the cover and cutting along the edges. Then we can gently fold back to snap clean. It doesn't matter if there are joints between the sheets in the application, as we have in the corners here, because once it's burnt, you will not be able to see the joints and the performance will not be affected. Primer must be used if applying skid grip R140 onto ironworks. We recommend using the Uniprime X950 Adhesion Promoter, which is a single pack primer that applies easily by roller. Once the primer has cured, which only takes 15 minutes, we gently preheat the surface, making sure not to burn the primer. Then we are ready to apply the product. The backing tape on the sheets must be removed before putting them in place and heating on. Otherwise, there is no adhesion at all. As you can see here, we are attempting to heat on a sheet with the backing not removed, and the product is not shrinking into the surface. The product can be heated on with a standard gas torch held at about 150 mm over the surface, and evenly distributing the heat, not holding the torch in the same position for too long, otherwise it will burn the product. The product should be heated to at least 200 degrees. You will clearly see when the product is heated enough, as it shrinks into the surface and the edges bevel off. Also, the product should melt through the cover's keyholes. Once the product has cooled to the same temperature as the surrounding surface, the cover can be placed back onto the chamber and trafficked immediately. The process is simple but effective and the safety improvements this system brings, especially in high traffic areas, is huge. There's a vast wealth of knowledge that can be found on our website, www.meonuk.com. Data sheets, brochures, and case studies are available, along with many guides and how-to videos on our YouTube channel. If you're after any information, a demonstration, or just a conversation, please give us a call on 02392 200 606 or drop me an email on mail at meonuk.com. Thank you for watching.